Welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. The 5th Congress of World Azerbaijan is kicked off in the city of Shusha on April 22nd. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, made a speech at the event. Azerbaijan Republic's President, Janab Ilham Aliyev. In the beginning of the 5th Congress of World Azerbaijani's Victory Congress, memory of our marchers who had sacrificed their lives for the motherland was honored with a minute of silence. President Ilham Aliyev, making a speech at the event, noted that Azerbaijanis of the entire world for the first time came together after the historic victory. Victory suits our people. You arrived here by the Victory Road. The name of the Congress is Victory Congress. At present, Victory Museums are being constructed in various corners of the country, especially in the liberated districts. After this, the Azerbaijani people will forever live on as a victorious people, our state as a victorious state, said President Ilham Aliyev and added that it's great joy for us. The head of state highlighted unprecedented merits of the heroic sons of the motherland who fulfilled this mission for the history and people. President Ilham Aliyev recalled that in his speech at the First Congress of World Azerbaijanis in 2001, nationwide leader Hedar Aliyev said that Azerbaijan will restore its territorial integrity and our lands will be liberated from the occupation. We followers of the great leader made his words a reality. Settlement of the Karabakh conflict was the main task for me as the president. From day one of my election and until now, resolution of this issue and development of the post-conflict period in favor of Azerbaijan are the main tasks for me and all forces were mobilized. All of us, both citizens of Azerbaijan, living in Azerbaijan and Azerbaijanis of the world work hard for a common goal. We fought the war with dignity and we carry ourselves with dignity in the post-war period, said the head of state and added that everyone who visits our cultural capital sees that it's an Azerbaijani city. Shusha is being restored and revived. President Ilham Aliyev said before the diaspora movement concrete tasks of conveying the processes taking place in the post-conflict period and new realities to the world community. Both the government of Azerbaijan and embassies and diaspora organizations and all activists must convey the new realities to the world community. You, Azerbaijanis living abroad, have more opportunities in this regard. Speaking about the historical facts, the head of state noted that we must inform the international community about the injustices committed against the Azerbaijani people. Historical moments should always be on the agenda of diaspora organizations. Of course, all of us, Azerbaijanis living in Azerbaijan, want Azerbaijanis living abroad to be closely connected with their historical homeland. It would be very good if every Azerbaijani came to Azerbaijan at least once a year with their family, especially to visit the liberated lands. Today we are holding a congress in Shusha. However, the liberated territories are more than 10,000 square kilometers, and now routes are being opened and airports are being built. Therefore, traveling will be very convenient. We want the second and third generations of Azerbaijanis to be attached to their culture, the head of state said, noting that first of all they should know the Azerbaijani language. President Ilham Aliyev stressed that for this our state is ready to assist in the opening of Sunday schools and steps are being taken in this direction. Mother tongue unites all citizens of Azerbaijan. President Ilham Aliyev congratulated the Orthodox Christian community of Azerbaijan. The congratulatory message states, Dear compatriots, I would like to cordially congratulate you and the entire Christian community of Azerbaijan on the occasion of Holy Easter and wish each of you good health and happiness. As is historically the case, today Azerbaijan is a native land for everyone who lives here regardless of language, religion and ethnicity. Relations of friendship and fraternity between separate peoples and religions, which are based on mutual respect and trust, have been established in our country, which is reigned by a whole culture of coexistence. Preservation and promotion of ethnocultural diversity, rich multicultural values, and multi-century tradition of tolerance in our society is one of the key directions of our policy. Azerbaijan, in which overall attention and care for the cultural heritage of different ethnicities is guaranteed, is a rare country exhibiting exemplary relations between the state and religion. In these conditions of national and moral unity, our Christian countrymen experience their customs and traditions and religious beliefs, as well as their language and culture, and decently fulfill their civil duties to take a close part in all the fields of our political, social, and cultural life. 
Dear friends, Easter, which is solemnly celebrated in Azerbaijan every year, is an embodiment of feelings of freshness, revival, mercy, and empathy. On this honored day, I would like to again wish all of you a good holiday mood and your families joy and well-being. Happy holiday. The 5th Congress of World Azerbaijan is continued with panel discussions covering issues of restoration and construction works underway in the territories liberated from the occupation and the role of Azerbaijani diaspora. Around 400 representatives from 65 countries participate in the work of the Congress. Our compatriots living in foreign states will witness with their eyes both the bitter outcomes of the Armenian occupation and the scale of restoration works in Karabakh. I want to express my deep gratitude to the head of our state, our army, our war veterans. May Allah rest the souls of our martyrs. Holding this Congress today is their merit. Our compatriots living abroad have been waiting for this day for 30 years. As a great leader, Hidar Ali said, the day will come when we will hold a Congress in Shushar, and that day has come. Yesterday, I met with a group of Congress delegates at Jidur Dezeplein. They are full with emotions. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We will discuss what the Azerbaijani diaspora should do in the post-war period, in what areas it should develop. As President Ilham Aliyev stressed, we all need to think about how to revive Karabakh. These are very important questions. Our main task is to further strengthen the unity of the Azerbaijanis, carry out coordination at a high level and, of course, bring the fair voice of Azerbaijan to the whole world. We Azerbaijanis living in various corners of the world are proud of the glorious Azerbaijani army and victorious Command-in-Chief Ilham Aliyev. We are happy with the victorious procession on the liberated lands of Karabakh and in Zangezur. In his speech, President Ilham Aliyev set the new task, new goals before all leaders of all diaspora organizations of the world. We must convey the truth to the world in a coordinated and systematic manner. We will mobilize all forces to fulfill this task. We, with a great sense of pride, are participating in the 5th Anniversary Congress of World Azerbaijanis in Shusha. Our diaspora organizations are strengthening and this factor surely helps us to sway the public opinion on our side. After the opening ceremony, a report on the activity of the State Committee on Work with Diaspora was heard. Then work of the Congress continued with discussions of topics on the agenda. In accordance with the training plan for 2022, the land forces held competitions for the title of the best grenade launcher personnel. The theoretical knowledge, physical readiness of the servicemen were tested before the shooting. The servicemen passed standards for physical training, tactical training and engineering training. The main objectives of the six stage competitions are to check the level of training of military personnel and improve their practical skills, as well as awarding servicemen who distinguish themselves in combat training. We need to work together to improve welfare of the people in the Turkic states. We must be together on social and humanitarian issues. The statement came from Aybek Osmanov, deputy from Kyrgyz Republic, during the meeting of the Commission of Turkpar on Social, Cultural and Humanitarian Affairs in the Milli Majlis. The chairman of the commission said that the coronavirus pandemic had affected the welfare of all countries. A model bill on the development of social entrepreneurship was adopted at the meeting attended by the delegations of Azerbaijan, Turkey, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyz Republic. Members of the Kazakh parliament, Lezzet Ramazanova, said that the bill will contribute to the development of relations between the member countries of the organization. Following the discussions, it was decided to submit the bill to the Turk plenary session. It was stated that the next meeting of the Commission on Social, Cultural and Humanitarian Affairs will be held in Kazakhstan in May next year. Twelve infections with the novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. Eight in people recovered after treatment and were released home. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 792,457 with 782,621 recoveries and 9,707 deaths. The number of active infections is 129. To detect new infection cases over the past day, 3,000 331 tests and overall 6,788,729 tests were conducted in Azerbaijan. 
the task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.